In this video, I'm going to show you what I would consider to be one of the better base coverage defenses with the latest AP update in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask that you would go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. Now, this video, I'm going to be talking about a defensive uh, concept out of the nickel normal defense. Now, this is a defense that I released earlier in the year on my Patreon membership. If you want to get access to all 18 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides, you can do so by joining the Patreon membership. You will also get access um, to any new guides while your membership is active or any updates to the guides. And we typically update them pretty much every single week uh, with new material. So if you want to get access to that, there's a link in the description below if you want to sign up for that. And again, it's only 10 bucks a month to join the Patreon. And the cool part about it is, again, like I said, you get access to everything. So what we're going to do with this defensive package here is primarily something we can do. It's just a base coverage call. Uh, but if you take a look here in the packages, um, I've gone ahead and subbed in whoever I wanted, wherever I wanted them. But what we want to do with packages here is we want to go to the, uh, if I can find it here, the safety nickelback package or the big nickel package here. Let's see if I can find it here. Free safety one inside. That's the package that we want to go to. And then we want to grab cover two or Tampa two. And this is a really good little base coverage. And what you're going to notice is the big problem with Tampa two is that you've got this safety on the outside here, but he's not in a good spot to be able to get out and defend this fade route on the outside. As you can see, it's a bang bang play. You can typically hit that fade. Another thing that you can hit against Tampa two. Um, is also like let's say they play let's say we play hard flats for example you'll see here you can again hit that fade there's a little hole shot right there and then the second second spot that you can hit um, against the Tampa 2 is this little deep post to circle if I get time did not get time but circle would be wide open on the deep skinny post those are the two big plays that you can hit um, consistently against cover two. Also, maybe some deep quarters, some things like that. But really, the, the deep post is the route that you're going to have. Okay? So, how do we combat some of that and make this a very safe little base coverage? Well, what we can do with this defense is we're going to go ahead and pinch our defense. What this does is it puts the backers in the gap. It puts them in um, prime position to be able to send pressure out of. So, we can send pressure off of either side with these guys. And then... Um, the cool part with the coverage that we can do is we're going to put both safeties now. We unlock different adjustments. We can put both safeties in outside thirds. So you see there we put both safeties in outside thirds. We're going to blitz our user. And then we're going to take our defensive linebacker that is not our user. So in this example, I like to put Duggar in a middle third. We're going to use our Davis right here. So you see this is what the play looks like. And then from there, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and drop the defensive end on the running back side into a vertical hook and then we're going to bluff blitz the defensive end opposite of the running back so you see this it's kind of what the coverage looks like and we get a nice little two-man pass rush right here because escape artist is patched now um, and you're not going to see as much of that this is going to be a pretty decent little defense here it's just a simple shed defense and what you'll see with this is you're going to be able to stop some of the very popular concepts that you are used to getting burned by so something like this now is not really that good as you can see right here the vert hooks and the cloud flats drop into a position on the field to be able to combat a route combo like this. Another um, play that is very popular is out of the gun bunch, and I'll show you that real quick. So the play verticals, all we would simply do here is just flip our play, pinch our defense, and then set the defense up exactly as we had it set up. What I like to do against gun bunch is basically exactly the same thing, um, but what I like to do specifically against Gun Bunch that we can do a little bit different than what we can do against other formations is we can drop this backside guy into a three wreck, but we can also still just drop him into a vertical hook zone and then we can drop this other side into that three wreck. So now we got really good coverage on that. And then if they're running verticals, what you'll see here is this vert hook makes that throw really difficult. So as you can see right there, um, because it comes from the defensive end, it can get into the throwing lanes really, really well. Now, what you want to do with this is you want to mix in uh, pressure at the right time. So if they go to verticals, what uh, you know, let's say, for example, they're just going to send uh, five out, send five out, send five out. What you want to do in, in inverse to that is you want to go ahead, pinch your defense, globally blitz all your linebackers, 
shades your coverage down. Now you have a vertical hook. You got kind of a cover two concept on this right side. And then on the left side, what I like to do with this is we're actually going to man the corner up on the running back and man the safety up on the wide receiver. So you see that we have this concept right here. And now they're going to be thinking, well, I could just send people out and wait on the openings. And now you got heavy pressure. And as you can see, this base defense right here really is difficult to move. Um, it is difficult to move on. The beauty of this defense is not just that you have this coverage here, but the cool part about nickel normal is you have all of the match coverages as well. You have cover four palms, you have cover three buzz match, cover six, cover nine, cover four quarters, all of the coverages that you really have access to. The other thing that you have within this um, is the ability to cross man these two linebackers. So what I like to do specifically out of something like a cover four palms type of look is I know that I can cross man significantly. So for example, what I like to do with this is I'll take this, this, um, this backside linebacker here and I'll cross man him onto whoever I want to. So if, let's say for example, uh, we know the number three receiver can be problematic. So I'm gonna cross man him onto the number three receiver. Then I'm gonna drop my defensive end on the left side into a bluff blitz assignment. And I'm gonna drop my defensive end on the right side into a curl flat. So you see that the coverage is still intact. Everything is still intact. But now we have a nice little coverage here for the crossing route, which is really, really popular. So again, they go to something like this, if you will. And then I have match coverage plus a user now be able to kind of combat that. So this is one of my favorite ways to play defense right now. And especially with the fact that we don't have to worry too much about the best players in the world going to escape artists, I think this really does bode well for the defense. We have a lot of tools in our tool belt with this coverage. And again, the more you can adapt, the better. But this right here, this little outside third coverage with a deep third from that linebacker to me is a really, really good coverage. You don't have to have a three rack. So if you want to just have two vert hooks, you can just simply rush three. But now you're going to get one on, someone's going to get a one on one, and oftentimes you're going to get pressure within a couple seconds. And as you can see, the defense really locking down over that, over that time frame. So this is a great little coverage defense. Again, you can run against anything. And the cool part is you can always mix in pressure at the right times. Let's say you're defending a trip side end look like this, and you want to have something that looks kind of like this, if you will, uh, where you're kind of a little bit more aggressive. And, you know, you're expecting them to send everybody out on a route, go to something like this, get the quick pressure, and then you can just bag stuff pretty quickly. So I love this defense. I think this is a great coverage. It's not the only coverage you want to run. And another little quick variation to running this coverage is to take this nickel corner, um, or I'm sorry, not the nickel corner, but um, to simply use her the safety. So you could use her the safety like this. So we could have it looking just like this right here. And then we can take this defensive tackle and put him in a bluff blitz and rush three. And then our responsibility now becomes the deep middle of the field. So we've got to get deep, deep, deep. So we're going here, back in here. And if there's a post, we got to get back to that post. But this is another great way to run it if you feel confident in your user to be able to get back and guard the post or some of the deep routes on the field. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about this defense, you want to get the full defensive uh, ebooks. Again, remember, join the Patreon for just $10 a month. You get access to everything, you get all the updates. All the ebooks, we've got 18 offenses and defensive guides over there. And uh, with the new AP update and some of the things that are going to be shifting meta wise, you're going to see a lot of updates into those ebooks. You're going to see a lot of new ebooks pop up out of this. Um, it really is an exciting time for Madden 22 because we do feel like uh, with the patch of Escape Artists, there's going to be, a, I think, a little bit better of a chance for us to play some really, really solid defense. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the Patreon membership, there's a link in the description below where you can get it for just $10 a month.